Hello everyone, we're doing another Twin World video. I fucking hate myself. Yes. Let's try that again. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Anything Goes. On this episode, we are talking about wonderful hotels. hotels. Hotel, hotel, motel, hotel. <laughs> I hate you. Uh, in honor of next week being the week we are in VidCon, so... While vacation slash VidCon. Vacation slash VidCon. While we are there, we are going to be vlogging, so check those check out. Check it out. Um, and we're going to be but, staying in a hotel, hence reference. Yes. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about hotels. We've had some pretty good stays in hotels. I know. We've only had what? The only the last time we went to VidCon, we just had that the one with the construction. Yeah, but that wasn't that bad. And the banging headaches. And the yeah. last place we went to when we went to go see Mamrie. We went shame? Uh, no, with the shame. cockroach? No, not the cockroach. Uh, mind you, two seconds before this, we just said we haven't had any bad experiences. <laughs> We've had some pretty good stays in hotels. You we? just don't like where I pick hotels. Yeah, because when you pick hotels, it's trash. It's not trash. Exactly, it just no. happened to normally, always be in an industrial Normally the hotel- Exactly. Normally- Which are just slightly creepy. That. It, that's what it is! You normally pick a nice place, which is great. But it's just The Boston Hotel was fucking sweet. Yeah. But, it's surrounded by creepers. Plain and simple. I see no wrong, nothing wrong with that. Yes. I'm sorry that I want you to have adventures and stories We're already to tell your children. We're, I'm not having children. <laughs> we're already going on an adventure. Today we're going to be talking about yeah. So we, obviously hotels. so this cockroach thing. This hotel. Yep. And there's a cockroach on the ground. There's a cockroach up. on the ground when we walked in. It's New York. That's kind of just how that goes. Yeah. Gross though. Um, nice hotel. The though. hotel was great. Yes. Hotels. I found a list of weird hotels. Not weird, but like. Themed hotels. You know I love a good theme. Oh my god. Um, there's this great themed one that me and Forrest think about staying in. We have no idea when or if we're actually gonna fucking do it. Uh, it's in Mamie Hart's book. Oh my god. I've got this round. Yeah, go buy it. Um, I'm so <laughs> fucking happy I just did that. Um, <laughs> and what was the name of the fucking hotel? Oh no! Damn! <laughs> um, if I- if I- The- that hotel. Uh, the name's gonna be right here because yes. <laughs> I'll fucking find it when I'm editing. Um, and then they have a jacuzzi that's shaped like a wine glass, and yep. it's for cool thing. Uh, it's also a couples resort. I don't know why me and Forrest would go because we're stupid. <laughs> uh, so themed weird hotels. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Here is my. Would you ever stay in a themed hotel? Yes, I have this one in Nevada that we're gonna go to. It's called the Clown Motel. <laughs> why? Picture. <laughs> You're putting up a picture. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Cool. No. The second going. one. It's in Idaho. Idaho. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Idaho. And this is why I don't trust Sage when he picks out hotels. <laughs> <laughs> that was evil. It's called Dog Bark Park in the hotels are shaped like dogs. What the fuck? Picture. <laughs> what? It's shaped like a dog. You can live in a dog for a week. That's weird. Isn't that fun? Yeah. You would do weird. it. Weird. <laughs> I would totally do it. That's yeah. weird. Okay. And then my last one, I just deleted it. Good job. Yeah. Is called Hotel Costa Verde. It's in Costa Rica. We won't be going. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, it sounds like is on the... A plane? Oh. Looks like we're going to fucking Disney World. Yeah, basically. It's just in a plane? It's the hotels in the plane? Basically. Oh yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it sounds kind of cramped. That one wasn't that cool. There was this other one that's like the library hotel that's like basically just a huge library that you live in. Oh really? Yeah, mom would love that one. Mm. Want to hear a story? I was say I have a story too. I think I have two. Let me do that. So you can go first. Alright, so. There was poop in the kettle. That's what the, co that's what the story is called. <laughs> Not stay in this absolute dump of a hotel. No? I use the term hotel very loosely. I cannot I cannot convey strongly enough how disgusting this <laughs> this place is blood-stained headboard that have clearly been up since the World War. The first one. Root staff, <laughs> windows that won't close, no hot water, broken broken furniture, dirty utensils, broken light fixtures, and actual poop in the kettle. Pretty sure I'm gonna end up with some sort of ra rash or disease due to this situation. Due to this <laughs> due to the sanitation conditions similar to those of a homesick crackhead. <laughs> In summary, this is a complete hole. <laughs> I feel like that person's just picky. Mm -hmm. They gave the they gave it a value of one star. A value. A location was in a, a three out of five. Nice. Um, the room was a one. Out. Cleanliness was a one, and service was a one. 
fun. Was this, help, was this review helpful? Everyone said yes. Yeah, they are like, I ain't going to a fucking crack that. Here are mine. It is, the mine are both from Reddit. Um, it's a, it's from February 19th, 2013. Concierge at a five star hotel he here. Um, told me a story about two gentlemen who checked into the room with two full beds. One was a big hairy man and the other was a skinny Filipino. They also brought their cat with them. Why? Why? Okay. Um, they stayed for a couple of days at the hotel and the whole time they had their privacy sign on the door so housekeeping wasn't able to go in. Right. When housekeeping finally got a chance to clean the room, they walked in to a not so pleasant scene. Condoms were all over the floor. Toilet was clogged with condoms, uh, but that wasn't even the worst of it. There was literally shit everywhere. On the walls, on the shower, chairs, and they lifted up the covers on the bed, they found a pile of shit <laughs> and shit stains all over it. Shitty, huh? Mm. When they called the gentleman asking for the explanation, they blamed it all on the cat. Oh. Uh, uh. The condoms on the cat too? Yeah. That's disgusting. Isn't it? Luckily our hotel stays have been good. I'm happy our hotel, are, hotel stays are anything like that. The only thing we have to work on is better food yeah, for breakfast. Yeah. Um, because I love a good free breakfast, mm. but I also love a good free, free breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> As you know, at the end of every video, we uh, look through our comments and we pick one of you guys to talk shit about. Get it? <laughs> no, we, uh, oh my god. Uh, what? Uh, no, we pick one of your comments to say thank you on all the love and bullshit that you deal with us. <laughs> Basically. Basically. But this, for this video today, we're going to be uh, appreciating, basically. Pretty much. Uh, one of our viewers, uh, Ryan, uh, me, Forrest, and him basically had a whole conversation about uh, Demi Lovato. It started with Demi. Duh. It, it started with Demi Lovato and how she's fucking amazing. Basically. And then he asked, does Sage have an artist that he appreciates just as much as Demi? And oh my fucking god, it's Choice of <laughs> Odd. And oh my fucking god, yes, we are going to the Blue Bloom tour. We are? Yes. I am. So it might be a solo <laughs> vlog. Um, but yeah. So thank you, Ryan, for all of your support on, and watching our videos and all that shit. And we hope you mm. like what else we do. Yes. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining. Make sure you like, favor, and subscribe. Share with your friends those because we're ourselves. But the best. anything goes. Basically. Yep. Bye. So when are we doing that Axe Stone video? We're not doing it. <sighs> <laughs>